live from Highline Community College. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jalen from Mr. Excel. Mike Gergen from Excel is fun. This question sent in by Tina over there. Tina. Tina has this data and she is trying to use remove duplicates, but only wants to remove it if the first two elements between the commas are duplicate. So red upper, red upper. This one goes away. Yellow down, that one's unique. This one goes away. Mike has a formula. Mike is a smart guy. Mike has a formula to solve this. Should you go first? I have a ridiculous formula. Yeah. I'm hoping you have some sweet and easy way. I got to see that formula first because I can't imagine any formula that's going to do that. Yeah, but it I, can't be done. I, no, no, no. There's no formula that will do that. Except for I learned the concepts from this place called the Mr. Excel Message Which Board. Which is a great place. There's a lot of smart people there. Um, all right. Let me, I don't, there's no formula. This is pointless. We're wasting our time. Mike, there's no formula that will solve this. Uh, except for uh, I'm sure you have an easy formula there. All right. The, I, when I look at this, the only way... And I've seen this problem before and even posted the Mr. Excel message board. If I have to get a second column, a comma, I don't know how to do that except for to insert a different character there. So how about I'm going to use the substitute. Substitute, I'm going to take this text, comma, the old text. That's what I want to find, comma. The new text I want to insert is this little bar. And I, the instance is two. Oh, sweet. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. That's hot. Okay, go ahead. All right, so. Oh, that's cool. Now, once I have that, I'm going to have to use this twice because now I can say find that character and take the leftmost. So I can go copy this and I'm going to find the position first with search. Notice I, I just copied that substitute. I'm going to say search, uh, find that text within there. Right, that gives me the position. I want to subtract one, actually. And then I'm going to say the left. Now, I told you this is going to get ridiculous. The left of what? Control V, that substitute thing, comma, and that's how many characters from the left. All right, so now I have that. And I can say um, on that column, count if. And I'm going to take that range, colon, comma, left arrow, close parentheses. I'm going to make an expandable range, so F4. So as I copy this down, it'll be counting. Anytime it's greater than 1, I want to say true. So I'm going to change this to a logical formula. Now that's kind of ridiculous. I'd have to put uh, text 2 and then true slash false right, with some headers and then sort and delete. I actually could probably make a single cell phone, though, but that's so, sort of what we so go back that's in the true false. Uh, do you have you don't have filter by selection in your quick access toolbar? Why don't you just filter by selection to all the trues? So right here, right? Uh -huh. Right click, uh, filter, filter to selected cells value, and then delete the whole thing. Shh. Just delete those rows. Edit delete because it only will delete the visible ones, right? Uh, you mean or, like this? I hope so. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, I think that the way I would do it is. Uh, uh, I forgot the keyboard trick. All EDR. For, all EDR. So it's uh, like. But not the heading. There is a keyboard shortcut for visible cells only. It's you like don't have to do that though. Alt. I don't, just try it. We'll undo it if it doesn't work. Alt what? So here, do this. Select these. Alt EDR. Alt E. DR. Yes. And then turn off the filter. Uh, just Control the Shift L. Ah, there we go. And everything that's left. Absolutely so when beautiful. You filter and delete. It doesn't delete the hidden rows. Is that that is amazing. All right. Now wait. Okay. So that formula um, makes my head spin. Like all of Mike's formulas make my head spin. Tina has this problem. If Tina comes here. I would say Tina. This formula is going to be really, really hard, and I need absolute silence while I do this. And then, while Tina is gone, while Tina is gone, I think what I would have to do would do all DE text to columns delimited by a comma. Click finish. 
undo. Alt D E delimited by a comma. In step three, though, I want it to go to column B. All right, so I'm going to make all those words split out over there, and I'm going to add my little head one, heading one. I'm going to grab the fill handle and drag across. And the amazing thing about remove duplicates, so control asterisk, remove duplicates out here is pretty hot. Most people don't realize that it will look at two columns. So I'm going to unselect all, choose head one, head two, click OK, and it got rid of the ones where both heading one concatenated with heading two was the same as something else. And then at that point, I can just delete all this stuff out here. And is uh, that I not totally had some awesome? Sweat, the sweat on my brow when <laughs> Tina comes back. I say that was the hardest formula. You wouldn't believe it. I had to go to Mike Mervin to figure out what the answer was. And I had to go to Mr. Excel, <laughs> Bill Jellin, to get the easy way. <laughs> this is cool. This is wild. You know, Mike. I have to thank Mike. Mike comes up with uh, most of these problems for the Dual Egg Excel podcast. I think I've come up with two out of the 102. Um, but we rolled in here today, and, and he thought I was going to come up with hard stuff. And uh, that's the great thing. Everyone has a different way to solve things in Excel. Woohoo! Right. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> well, hey, that was our, uh, was that 101? 102. 102? 102, episode 102. It's already 102 in the morning? <laughs> yeah, it feels like it, actually, yeah. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another ne Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and... Excel is fun. All right.